you like some plum? Monday and I'm starting a weekly vlog on time. I actually was not kind of in the mood to start the vlog because I feel like I just, I'm sure I look pasty. I'm sure my makeup is like caking up. So anyways, Brian is getting dinner ready. He's on the grill. He got the grill fired up so it smells smoky and has my mouth water and I'm ready to eat even though we got to wait for the kids to get here. Um, baby, you were going to say something. Your eyes are so red. What were you about to say? Nothing. Okay. So anyways, I think what I'm gonna do real quick though before the twins get here is get me a bottle of plonk for the night. I just wanna chill, relax, kinda get in like a sexy mood, but not sexy because the kids are here, but like, you know, just getting like a really nice, uh, set the tone, set the vibe. I wanna set a vibe and get in a vibe. That's probably a better way to say it. So I'm gonna get my candles going, get me some wine, set the lights up when it gets a little bit darker and just chill for the evening. That's what I'm looking forward to, an ultra relaxing vibe of a night. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. That'll be kind of day one and then I don't know what I have for you guys for the rest of the week other than I do want to try on those clothes from Naked Wardrobe that I got. I haven't tried everything on yet so I'm gonna try that stuff on for you this week and then I guess that's it. That's all I know for now. So anyways, welcome to the video. Put your star in the comment section if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're new. I'm Kristen if I haven't told y'all that already. And I guess let's get into this weekly vlog. So I just ordered this headband last week because I had asked on Instagram, I was like, does anyone know where I can get a headband? And I was tagged in a page of a girl who actually had headbands for sale. And one of her headbands was really cute. So I ordered it. I like how she packaged this. It's the little thing, right? <laughs> okay, let me back up. This is so cute. That is so cute. I feel like a real princess. Queen Kristen, thank you. And I got this is the wine, if you've ever been to Olive Garden and got their like house wine or the wine that they bring out and they ask you if you wanna taste it, this is what that is. This is really sweet. It doesn't have a high alcohol percentage, but it's really good. It's super tasty, really great with pasta. So I think I'm gonna make some pasta this week and I'm gonna have this with that. And then I got good old Faithful, some Plonk from Two E's Winery here in Fort Wayne. Plonk is spelled P-L-O-N-Q-E, and it's very delicious. So I'm gonna actually crack into this. Baby, will you hand me a um, wine opener? And oh, and a glass, I'm sorry. My love, my baby. So what have you been doing today? Yes. Oh. You said, wait, working out? Oh. Would you like some plonk? Sure, why not? Oh, we'll we need to get you a glass, baby. Just pour one big glass in the chair. No, you need your own glass. <laughs> I'm not sharing. Sorry, my love. And it's so cold. Usually plonk, I drink it warm or room temperature, but this being cold is actually really nice so I'm going to enjoy it like that you can order this online but it is expensive I'm not gonna lie mm. oh, that is so good I told you guys about this snack I've been eating the Sabra roasted garlic hummus this is like my favorite snack right now I just crave this stuff all the time and then I eat it with the Stacy's pita chips Burgers. Oh, you did make burgers? Yes. Aw, shoot, baby! That sounds so good. I'm so hungry. That little salad I had for lunch ain't hit. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Tuesday, and my hair is just... It's, like, really wild. 
I don't know what's going on with my hair today, but anywho, I just got done with work today. It's probably like, what is it? It's like seven o'clock or six o'clock. It's actually six o'clock right now. And I'm about to start some fettuccine Alfredo. We actually have some leftovers from yesterday. We had brats and chicken and all kinds of stuff Ryan put on the grill. I'm gonna just go ahead and make some fettuccine with dinner from last night though, because I feel like if we try to rely on what we had yesterday, we're not gonna have enough for everybody to get totally full. Like, you know how that is when you have leftovers, but it's like almost enough, but not quite. So I wanna have the Alfredo to go with everything. Plus it's kind of an excuse for me to have one of those bottles of wine I talked about with you guys yesterday. So with that, it's Tuesday. It's been a really great day, a great productive day. Let me tell y'all two things I did today that I'm kind of like excited about, but a little bit nervous about too. I bought Zoom and I bought Facebook stock. Facebook is down like for the last like few weeks or it's been like a few days. Cause I think I was looking at the daily chart They've been down for a minute. And then Zoom, they came down 20 some dollars today. So I bought them at the same price my cousin bought them at a few days ago. I figured it's a really great opportunity to enter their stock, especially because they were trading down and they had no news or no reason as to why they're trading down. So I'm assuming it's just people taking their gains, getting out, and then the new people like me are gonna get in there and get some new gains. Anywho, let me get this food started. Crixus keeps patiently ring, ringing the bell wanting to go outside and I'm just standing here vlogging. So let me get this man a little bit of attention and get this food started. Do you really wanna go outside, Crixus? Or are you just playing? Okay, you guys, I think this is everything I need for making the fettuccine Alfredo. So I got my fettuccine noodles, heavy whipping cream, vitamin D milk, paprika, garlic, Seasoning salt, Parmesan, we got a little bit of butter. I forgot to get Italian seasoning, so we're just gonna have to make it do without. And then we're going to get our chicken cleaned up and I got my water boiling so that I can start my noodles here in a second. So I think that's it. Oh, I know what I'm forgetting, red pepper. Gotta have red pepper and a little bit of cayenne. Those are important, because I want mine to be a little spicy. Today has been a really productive day, but I wanted to check in with you for a quick minute while I was on lunch. Yesterday, let me just tell you guys about this debate. I'm sure you saw it, but I was watching the debate like, oh my goodness. We turned it on after I got done with dinner last night and I just was blown away at how immature the whole debate was. I was hoping to learn a little bit more about both of their positions and what they're hoping for if they win the election. However, I feel like I walked away more confused and very disappointed in Donald and DT. We just gonna call him DT. So I don't know y'all. I thought it was gonna be more, it was definitely less than I expected, but I guess I'm not surprised. So. Anyway, we're gonna get off politics because I know that can be a very sensitive subject. However, can we just talk about this hair today? I really like this hairstyle. It's like so simple, but it still looks really professional. I was inspired because a lot of my calls lately, I'm on with all guys and the guys just look so like simple. <laughs> and I felt like I've been getting on my calls with like huge hair and more jazzy like this shirt is still kind of jazzy but i just kind of wanted to tone it down a little bit today so i went with like very minimal makeup no lashes and you know simple face hi baby 
my husband is also on his lunch and coming to check with me check on me so anyway let me talk to him for a second and i'll be back with you guys in just a little bit hey guys it is 5 30 and oh my goodness it was a long day today let me tell you this is so crazy this is so not like me i never ever hold stocks but i decided last night i purchased facebook i purchased zoom i purchased well, I was waiting to buy Apple, and I didn't end up getting into Apple, and I was real pissed because today Apple went crazy. So I missed out on Apple. I ended up buying Peloton this morning. So I'm in Peloton. I bought Apple later on in the day after it had already gone crazy, and then it came back down. I sold my Facebook because I had put a stop, a, like a stop loss in place. And then I came back and I checked and my stop loss triggered. And thankfully it did because Facebook went way, way, way down. So it's actually right now below the price that I had. So at least I didn't lose any money. Now, let me tell y'all what I have going on. This is so crazy. Like, I never, ever hold my, um, I never hold positions overnight. But I decided to hold these positions. And the reason is, is like I typically day trade, like I'll buy something and then I'll hold it. Like sometimes I'll buy it at night, I'll wait till the next day and then I'll sell it. And I wait until stuff comes into my like entry zone or my buyer zone. Buyer zones are basically the support levels that have been established in the market. If y'all are not familiar with this or with the terminology, definitely look up support and resistance. Learn that terminology because if you understand that, it helps you know when to buy. Okay, and a lot of times stuff may take a while to come into your buyer zone, but when it comes into your buyer zone, the trade is so easy. So I traded Peloton last week and I made enough to pay for my Peloton. So you can do some really great things if you know the effective buyer zones. So right now, like I told you guys, I'm in Peloton, I'm in Apple. And I'm in Facebook. So I've got 50 shares of Peloton. I only have 10 shares of Facebook. And then I have 100 shares of Apple. Because I'm holding Apple. Like I'm about to hold that long term. I have more shares of Apple than my, in terms of value, than my car is worth. That's crazy. So anywho, I'm really excited about these trades. Even though right now I'm down like 50 bucks on the Peloton and the Apple. But I think that'll be okay. Worst case for Peloton, I'll buy some more shares. And then it'll bring my average price down but they're good for it like right now they're underneath a hundred dollars they've been going over a hundred dollars almost every single day this week so i'm not tripping about them and then facebook i like i told you guys i bought them earlier for like 62 and some change they dropped below triggered me out because obviously i was working i was out my trade so i purchased back in at 261 and i only got 10 shares but still like this is really cool so there's this bag i want it's an mcm bag it's like this little cute bag it's the one you put over your shoulder and it's so little you can only really put like debit cards your id a lip gloss like little stuff inside of it the bag is 450 so what i did is i put 500 dollars in the stock market and my goal is to take the 500 that i was gonna spend on the bag make enough with that 500 to buy the bag and then I still have my original $500 investment. And then that way I can buy the bag, I don't have to think about it, and I get to keep my $500. So I feel like that is the best way to purchase luxury items is to do it with free money. So that's like my little strategy of what I'm trying to do, which is why I told you guys I'm also working on my hot tub. I have about half of what I need for the hot tub right now in addition to paying off my car and everything else. like. Your girl is over here hustling. I've paid off so much money this year. It's not even funny. As well as establish some cash for myself on the side too. So I feel like from like a portfolio perspective, I have a pretty cool little baby portfolio going on over here and I'm actually pretty geek. So you guys, like, I know some of you have opened up brokerages account brokerage accounts and I know some of y'all have started to trade or invest. Now is such a good time stocks had fell this past month like september is a month where a lot of times you'll see the stock market come down just because you know brokerage brokerage firms are reanalyzing portfolios moving money around whatnot so 
So a lot of stuff has come down to really, really good prices. So my goal is I've made some purchases and I'm just gonna hold them. I know Peloton's about to go crazy. I really feel like Peloton could potentially do $120 by the end of the year. I don't know for sure if they will, but I feel like Apple's also gonna do the same. I feel like, I would say pretty confidently, Apple will hit 120 here over the next few days. They're at like 115 right now, but they hit 117 today with no problem. So I'm like 120 should be nothing for them. So those stocks I feel really good about. I think with Peloton though, once they get up past their current high, I'm probably gonna pull my money and then wait till it falls back again and then get back in at whatever the new price is. Just because anytime a company tests a new high, I get a little bit nervous. So that's what I'm gonna do. Cause one time Peloton, I will, oh, I just went green on, on Facebook. So that's good, okay. But anyway, <laughs> I just kinda wanted to give you guys my little update. This is like my Wednesday update of what I've been doing with my money. And I just encourage you guys like, now is the time to buy some good stuff and just get some understanding around all of this and make some smart trades so that if you really want to build some wealth for yourself, you can start to do it and you can start to get your P&L when it comes to your own money looking really, really nice where you feel super good about it. But y'all, I got some clothes from Naked Wardrobe about a week or so ago and I showed you guys some of the pieces in one of my recent hauls, but I did not try them on. So I think what I wanna do now is just try everything on and see if everything looks cute. One of the outfits I actually took some pictures in. So you probably have seen that one in like one of my thumbnails and Instagram and whatnot. But I'm going to try that on and show you guys as well as the other, I think, two outfits that I got from them, which are so cute. I absolutely like, oh my God, the material is great. So I think that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to show you all this stuff real quick. And then I do want to ride the Peloton tonight. And the twins are going home, so I'm gonna wait till they go home and then I'm gonna get my butt on the bike because I wanna get a really good workout in and just continue trying to lose this little extra that I have going on. Okay, you guys, I am going to show you what I got from Naked Wardrobe. I have this new ring light and let me just angle this up a little bit more. Like, I wanna show you the whole outfit, but I'm in the room and I'm in the corner. Brian's in the shower, so if y'all hear shower, it's a lot going on, but I wanted to try everything on tonight so I can make sure, number one, it fits. And then number two, that I know like how I'm going to wear everything. So this is the first outfit. And I actually took pictures and put on my Instagram. And then I had this in the thumbnail of one of my last videos. So real quick, let me actually put this back down. There we go. Okay, so this is the first one. The material, you guys. The material is so so nice like it feels really good and I honestly like if I really wear this out I'm probably gonna put a jacket with it and just kind of do something like maybe a long jacket or a duster or something like that with a big oversized bag and some really dope shoes I think when I did the photo I just did some open toe see-through heels and a purse if I'm not mistaken like my Gucci purse but I probably would put this with like a duster or something like that because I think that would look really, really good. Okay, so this is the first piece. Let me go grab the other two pieces because I'm pretty sure it's just two more outfits. And then I need to order some food. I want some Chinese food tonight. The twins are gone. I still have a little bit of that wine left or like half a bottle of that bomb wine that goes really good with pasta. But I'm going to eat it with Chinese tonight. So that's what I'm kind of envisioning. Chinese food and wine in my bed because I'm I'm actually really tired tonight so this is two pieces this top I think this was like $24 and the skirt I don't remember how much the skirt was but I do still have the tags on because I wanted to make sure it fit since this is a haul that I paid for and I don't want to have to keep anything if it doesn't fit but I really love how the sleeves are kind of long I don't know I'm one of those weird people where I love to have my sleeves like over my watch and my bracelet and then I can put my little Tiffany bracelet over the top. And then I took my necklace off already, but I think it would look good with this. So let me back up real fast. I like this so I can already tell the fit is nice. <laughs> I think next time I order from them though, I'm going to get colors. Maybe like some nude or just take advantage of some of their colors. But the cuts are beautiful and the material is really, really nice. So let me back up real quick so you guys can see this whole outfit. 
Okay, so that's number two. And I have one more to try on and then we're all done. We, go get, we can go get some Chinese food. <laughs> okay, you guys, this is the last piece. I love this kind of a haul because I feel like I don't have to have it be like super perfect for a brand. <laughs> but this is nice. And again, I love the way it feels. It just feels so good. This is a really long dress. It actually hits just like at my calf. And I think because of that, it would look really dope with some bomb high heels. This you could put with a crop jacket, like something that hits right here. And I think it would look really, really bomb. I think Destiny was wearing something like that, if I'm not mistaken, when we went on the ride on this past weekend. Don't Destiny look so cute, y'all? <laughs> look at her, just too cute. Like hurting them. <laughs> Don't hurt them. Don't hurt nobody out here. I would again probably either put this with one of those like really little handbags or an oversized handbag and a crop jacket. Like that's how I'm envisioning this right now, but I guess we'll see. I've been in my shirt all day today, so I hope I'm not ashy. <laughs> I am. Hold up, y'all. Okay, let me back up, y'all. All right, y'all, so that is it. Those are the three outfits that I got from Naked Wardrobe. And I think all together I paid like 150 if I'm not mistaken. So that's not bad. You might as well say like $50 in outfit plus shipping. And you can tell the stuff is gonna last a really long time. I'm sure I'll get a lot of wears out of this stuff. Be able to keep it in the wardrobe for multiple seasons. So, hey, you know, I think it's a, a pretty good investment. But I'm about to put my clothes back on so I can go and get some food and I guess get into the rest of the evening. You can't really see me. <laughs> okay, you guys, I'm headed to get this Chinese food. Arius has his room like all set up. It looks really, really nice. So we are, I think, going to be having his room modified. That room originally was considered to be like a den or an office. And he's been in the basement since Amana moved in. So now that Brian is working from home and I'm working from home, we are like almost out of space. I don't want to feel like we need to buy a new house because I know this is temporary. Arius is 21. He's only got like a year or so left of school. So I'm like, I'm sitting here like, do we need to get a new house? I've even dabbled like looking in the market to see what's out there. But the challenge is the market is so hot for selling, but it's really challenging for buying. So I was like, dang. There's nothing. Like, I think I saw one house that was like 375,000 and it was a four bedroom, really nice house, but the basement was not finished. The backyard was not as nice as ours. Like the land was just not like ours. We have a really nice yard. Our yard is nice. The backyard for the dogs, the front yard, like everything is really, really bomb. So I just don't think it would be worth it to buy something and not get exactly what we have and have to spend a hundred thousand dollars more so I'm just like I don't really want to spend more money y'all know I'm on this whole financial peace journey I'm trying to get out of debt I'm trying to save money I'm trying to invest and just do some things for us to go to the next level so I think the compromise is get some doors put on that room I think I'm gonna do like barn doors which if you guys aren't familiar the barn doors are really dope they're like these huge doors that like slide and because of the way that room is set up I might have to do the kind where there's two and then one slides over the other and then it slides back and then they're really really easy to put up so I think that's what I'm gonna try to do I'm gonna have a builder come out and just like quote me I don't know if a builder is the right thing or maybe I should try to find like a handyman but I'm gonna have somebody come out and quote us for how to do it but in the meantime I ordered him a rod which is basically like a tension rod he can just put up on the wall and then some curtains that he can hang up in the meantime so that way he at least has some privacy in there and then we're gonna get the room modified with some doors here in the next like week or so so that is like what's going on with our house I don't think I ever like to like explain the whole room situation to you guys but that is how we you know we try to make it work so anyways i'm about to pull up here at the chinese spot get this food real quick and then head back to the crib and like i told you guys i'm so tired i think i'm just going to 
get home and put my pajamas on and get comfortable maybe get my ipad out read a book or something and take my butt to bed <laughs> Yeah, no, you ain't no psycho. You're not like the others, no. No changing behaviors. Not sure how to act around you. So colorful and bright, yeah. I wanna be a nine to five. You made me come alive, babe. I wanna be the time of your life. Come change my life just for a while. Let's go for a ride now. Outside the club, we come alive. Let's go for a ride, yeah. I wanna get to know you. I don't wanna leave so soon You and me forever Or maybe just for tonight Do you wanna get to know me? I will give it all to you You and me forever I can't sleep And I'm not supposed to get up till 7 But I decided to just go ahead and get up And get my day started And just try to get after it Get any in the corner I don't wanna be alone Sitting looking like a loser, but I don't wanna lose ya. Come change my life just for a while. Let's go for a ride now. Outside the club, we come alive. Let's go for a ride now. I wanna get to know you. I don't wanna leave so soon. You want me forever, or maybe just for tonight. Do you wanna get to know me? I will give it all to you. You want me forever. Okay guys, so I'm headed to get lunch. It's been crazy. It's 12.10, so I'm about to be in like a really, really big hurry. But I'm so hungry. Oh, my neighbors are getting a new roof. Y'all, I did so good in the market today. Last night I told you I bought some stocks. So I got Facebook, Peloton, and Apple. My Apple accidentally, well didn't accidentally, I put a stop loss in place and my stop loss triggered. So I was pulled out of my Apple trade, which I probably need to get more comfortable with giving myself a little bit of room with my trades. But I don't like to be in the red at all. So right now with Apple, I'm like really, really close where it just, it has to lift first. And right now I'm kind of in that range where when it goes up and down, it pulls into my purchase price. So. It is what it is, but you know, with that being said, I need to be more comfortable with being red for a couple seconds. And you never want to buy the total bottom, but at the same time, there's always that chance that it could come a little bit lower. And you just got to give your, yourself some grace for that, but still have your stop loss set where if it gets outside of the trend, you get pulled out of the trade so you don't end up having to ride that negative, you know, trade down. So anyway, it's been a good day. I think right now I'm up like, I think it was like 350 last time I checked. But today's been a good day. So long story short, cause I know I can ramble, I'm headed to get some food. And then I am going to get back for a meeting. I've been meeting at once. So I don't have much time to eat today. And after this, I wanna go, like I think I wanna go to Ulta today. I kinda wanted to go look out cards and figure out which car I want because I have some free time today. That way I can put that on my vision board and like do research around vehicles and stuff like that because I like to spend a lot of time researching before I make a car purchase, especially because whatever car I buy in my next vehicle is going to be the car that I'm in for years. Like I'm gonna be in that car. So I wanna get whatever this vehicle is identified put it on my vision board, figure out what the amount is gonna be, figure out the budget. That way next year when I get my bonus, I can put that towards it and hopefully have enough money from saving and trading and everything else to be able to pay cash for whatever car it is that I want. And if I can't get it brand new with cash, I'm gonna buy something used 
and just get it like you know a couple years out so that is my plan I really want to though go look at cars and just kind of get like a vision for what it is I think I want that way I know what I'm trying to save up for I know what the goal is and I can just prioritize it with everything else I have going on so that's kind of my vision which is why I was telling you guys yesterday I don't want to think about a house right now I feel like with our house I had this long-term plan to pay this house off and then let this be whatever we you know let this be our cash payment for our final house that we end up getting and I feel like that will happen after the twins graduate that way Brian and I can get our forever home wherever it is we decide we want to live at and I don't know where that's gonna be I don't know if that's gonna be in Fort Wayne so that's like my 10-year goal my 10-year plan and I, I don't think I've ever shared that with you guys either so it's been a couple things I've shared with you today that are like new things to talk about that's the vision stay in this house hopefully fingers crossed unless something crazy happens or I just get super you know annoyed with it until the twins graduate and then me and Brian will go get our forever home and you know we'll have cash be sitting on cash pay this house off I want to be totally debt free and just you know do everything the way that you're supposed to do it so I hope that works out that way I think it will though but I'll keep y'all posted to check in with you guys because I got some stuff in the mail that I really want to share with you some things I've been waiting for and I was actually really excited about so the first thing is I had received an email from a girl who owns a company nail attic and she asked me if she could send me some gel polishes and some just some stuff to try from her brand so she sent me five or six this is six polishes I'm really excited to try them you guys know I've been doing my own nails. I actually, for the first time, I actually ventured out and got my nails done yesterday. So I'll tell you a little bit about that and I'll show you what my nails look like. But in the interim, this is gonna come in handy. I did wear my mask yesterday and I actually wore sunglasses too because I just felt like that makes me feel a little bit more comfortable. I'm trying really hard to keep my family safe. And you know, I just, I wanna take the, pre the proper precautions. So, We'll see if I continue doing the nails, but I absolutely love these, but I'll, I'll tell y'all about them in a second. But she sent me, I'm all over the place right now, y'all. I'm so sorry. But she did send me black. So I got black. We got the top coat. We have white. Burnt orange, which I asked her specifically for this. So this is kind of like a red, reddish burnt orange, which I cannot wait to try. I am in love, obsessed with burnt orange. It's actually one of my favorite colors, even though I will say I definitely am like a simple black, white, grays type of girl. But if I can throw a pop of burnt orange in there every once in a while, 
I love burnt orange, which you may have picked up in my recent posts on Instagram because I've worn a couple burnt orange outfits recently. I also got the base coat and she sent me this really bomb Sisters Before Misters purple for fall too. So I'll be trying these here really soon. I'll probably do my toes first since obviously I have on acrylic nails right now, but these are really nice. The packaging is nice. Like this stuff feels really durable. So I would actually be really interested to hear if any of you guys have shopped with Nail Attic and have gotten anything from their brand because I just started watching nail videos, <laughs> trying to get myself together and I have seen them a lot here on YouTube. And then she also sent me this little light. This is how you cure the nails and you can use this or you can use, I don't think I have my thing in here, but you actually, I have the one where I like put my hand inside of it like when you go to the salon. But this is so bomb for when you're doing the type the type of nails where you put the tips on yourself and you actually put the gel underneath so you put use like the gel base put the nail over the top and then you cure it with this and you kind of have to like hold the nail hold it tight so you don't get any bubbles and then this little lamp is so much easier than trying to hold your nail underneath that big old like concoction that big old base that I usually use so I am really excited to try this stuff out and I will definitely be telling you guys what my thoughts are when I get around to that. And then I also have some other stuff. So I got the twin some stuff from Macy's. I told myself moving forward just to get them like ready for fall and let me use some scissors that I'm going to start ordering from Macy's every paycheck. That way I can stock them back up because we just went through their clothes Got rid of everything that was too small, trying to get them, you know, prepared for fall, make room in their closet and in their drawers. So we got them just a couple of shirts. I got them like two Adidas shirts and it's so weird with their sizes. Right now they're in a 10-12, but they're kind of little for 10-12s, but they're too big for 8 to 10. It's like really weird. They're just so long and tall. So I got the shirt and then I bought them some pants as well so they got the little adidas pants to go with and i think the pants were like 20 bucks and the shirts were like 14 dollars if i'm not mistaken and the last thing i wanted to show you guys because getting into fall you have to re-up on your bath and body works okay and i feel like i have something stuck to my lips yeah i definitely feel like i have something on my lips but oh well we'll we'll suffer through so yeah, you gotta have your re-up from Bath and Body Works. So this is my, my Bath and Body Works order. The packaging they use is really nice so you don't break anything. Like they put everything in these little containers so nothing breaks. So I got these one wick candles and I've never ordered one wick candles from them before but what I do is I like to actually use these when I'm in the room working. I think there's one actually on the night on the little stand over here that's burning right now and I like to use these for the room because the big one I don't think I need three wicks to get the fragrance I want in my room so this first one this is white pumpkin it's spicy this this smells like pumpkin pie with spice like a spicy spicy pumpkin pie definitely has like a spice to it though like some sort of a like just spicy I can't quite put my finger on almost like cinnamon yeah cinnamon it's like a cinnamon mixed with exactly ground cinnamon white pumpkin autumn spices so okay so this one does smell good but it's a little spicy I normally don't go for spicy which I probably should have read read the fragrance before I ordered it but when you're rushing that's what happens I got mahogany teak wood which this is Old Faithful. I used to burn this all the time because I didn't have a man. And to me, it was just nice. It smells really masculine and I wanted like a masculine fragrance. I love men's cologne. I love when you're with your man and he smells just fragrant, you know, with the nice cologne on. So I used to burn mahogany teak wood a lot for that reason, which is kind of weird maybe. I think that is kind of weird. <laughs> But I would do that and I would sit in the bathtub with my mahogany teak wood burning and I would light my candles everywhere, run my bubble bath and just soak and then go in my room and have my candles going and play music and just chill. Like I was kind of dorky. I don't know. I would just chill. I didn't really read or watch TV. <laughs> I would just chill and work. So 
if you don't have a man and you just want to like feel like you got that masculine fragrance going on around you mahogany teak wood okay and let me really quickly tell you the notes so it says mahogany wood iced lavender oak and essential oils yeah you can kind of smell that you can smell the lavender you can smell the oak it's that is really funny you can literally smell everything that they describe so they're really good with their descriptions okay then we got champagne toast this one is sweet Brian likes sweet so it says bubbly champagne sparkling berries juicy tangerine and essential oils it does smell like a bubbly champagne and you definitely smell tangerine right on <laughs> they're really good with these descriptions you guys and at least that way if you decide to order you know you're gonna get exactly what you asked for so this is the mahog mahogany teak wood but this is the high intensity which that is very potent it's it smells exactly the same but it's very potent so I think this could probably be a great exception or replacement for the big three wick boy because this junk you could tell this is like super potent I probably would burn this in like on the first floor and would not burn this in a little room because you would just you're gonna be in there just overwhelmed <laughs> Okay, so I got mahogany teak wood soap. I like to have a bunch of these soaps around. So I got two of those. And I also got the marshmallow pumpkin latte. And then we got I have two of those. So two of the marshmallow pumpkin lattes. The soaps, if I'm not mistaken, were like four for five dollars, which is why I have four of these. So there's that. And then one last thing I wanted to tell you, because this actually made me think about it. Y'all, I was just talking and my camera died. <laughs> Okay, where's the other one? So really quickly, I wanted to show you these last two things. Brian orders antibacterial soap or antibacterial hand sanitizer from Bath and Body Works. And he got these fragrances. So he got this one. This one's called Mango Mai Tai. I wanted to tell you guys about this one though because it's called Atlantic. And it's kind of like how I was mentioning earlier with Mahogany Teakwood, how it has like a masculine fragrance. This one does as well. Like whenever I use it, I just, I love the way it smells. I'm just so weird about the stuff I like. I don't like anything really fruity, which this one I got, this, uh, where did it go? The Champagne Toast. This is really fruity. This is not my normal kind of fragrance, but I know Brian does like stuff like this. So I'm just different. I love masculine smelling candles for the most part. So if you ever want to send me a candle, send me a candle that smells like a grown sexy man, okay? <laughs> so this week, you guys, was my normal week in the life video. A little more girly though, because I got my nails done and my nails are looking great. If you want to try Kim out too, you can definitely go try her out. She's really bomb. She did an amazing job. And I feel like the best part about Kim, when you compare other places I've gone in the past to get my nails done, is that Kim is so good with her shapes. The shapes are just beautiful. Not everybody can nail that shape. And you know how when you try to explain to someone what you want your nails to look like and they just really struggle with it? She does such an amazing job with designs and shapes and all that. And I told her, just freestyle, do your thing, but I still need it to be professional because I do get on camera for work and obviously here on YouTube as well. And I wanted them to be short, so not too long. And this definitely, she hit the nail on the head. Like when I say Kim is the goat, she is definitely the ghost if you're local here in Fort Wayne and you're looking for a nail tech check her out I will put her information down below if you guys want to try to book her just let her know that Kristen sent you if you decide to do that but y'all with that I hope you have enjoyed this video hopefully it inspired you a little bit on the feminine side and you've just kind of you know gone along for the ride with me I know this week too we didn't really get into much conversation around thought-provoking things and things going to the next level but I do have some topics that I'm going to be bringing into the content in the next couple of weeks so look forward to that as well as just some things that are going to take us into fall winter season because y'all this is my favorite season okay fall is absolutely amazing it's so warm and cuddly and homely and I really want to get into this fall winter season with you guys so if you're looking forward to the fall the winter to Q4 and really taking 2020 out with a bang stay tuned because we are about to make it happen